Hey guys, it's me Ida. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I do a curl wand tutorial and I'm actually doing it on straightened hair but um, my hair is getting a bit more poofy. This is what I usually get after a few days of having straight hair and so to prolong the straight hair style um, I'll go ahead with like a, a curling iron that looks like this preferably like one that kind of like points at the end and I'll just kind of put in some curls in my hair and I just love that texture in the hair you know I remember when I first went natural like I was itching to straighten my hair and because I was just so used to having straight hair I just knew that in order to have healthy natural hair I'd have to kind of lay off the heat a bit. Now I'm so used to having, you know, big hair that I just miss it so much. As soon as I flat iron my hair, I'm just like, oh, I want the big hair. So I'm gonna get that big hair with this. So I'm gonna go ahead, take a section. This, I guess is like a medium section. It's not too small, not too big. So I'm gonna take the first piece and I'm going to put the curling iron against my scalp, but not all the way. And then just start twirling it inwards. I'm gonna leave like about a few inches of hair so that I can actually get a bit more length as well into my hair. So I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 seconds before I let go. And this is what you get. So basically same thing, but just kind of twirling it towards the opposite end. And I find that for me, it just kind of gives it more dimension and it doesn't get the curls to kind of combine and stick together. So it gives it more body as well. So I just basically just go like layer by layer and kind of do the same thing. Okay, so when I get to the front, I make the curls go more into my face and I actually go all the way up to the roots with the curling iron. So I'm going to start off with the front section here. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I'm done and I feel like I want to kind of quickly maybe redo some of the bottom pieces because I don't think that I should have created them so big because I can see that they're already kind of losing its curl pattern so I'm going to just kind of tighten it up a bit. So what you can do is you can like look around to see if you want to kind of redo any pieces again before you start separating the curls. I mean, I guess you can leave it like this too, but if you want more body, then you're gonna have to separate them a bit. I can either go ahead and actually separate like I would if I did a twist out, or I can just kind of run my fingers through my hair. So it kind of depends like how you want it to look. If you kind of don't care if it's like a bit messy, then you can just run your fingers through like that's actually what I usually do. But for the purpose of this video, I'll do a bit of both just to kind of show you guys like what the difference is. So, of course, the more separation, the more volume, but then you do get a potential of some frizz, which you can always just put in some serum or oil. But since I already have some in my hair, I don't really feel the need to put any more on. I can go on and keep separating or I can just put my fingers through, which is what I usually do. It's just so much faster and so much more body this way. So I'll do this for a bit. You can even use a wide tooth comb if you'd like as well. I just love using my fingers for everything. I don't know why. I'm just so used to not really using combs or anything like that. Okay, so as you can see, you're already getting a lot more volume and you're gonna get more volume throughout the couple of days anyways, so you don't wanna like separate it too much. And then I'll just kind of separate the front a bit more. And kind of play around with how you want the parting to be. Again, you could add more curls in, which I probably will on the left-hand side, just in case I like choose to part it like this, 
we add in just a few more curls all the way to the scalp on this side just to frame my face better with the curls you see the difference there and yeah so I might just even add a bit more here later on but um, yeah what do you guys think I really really love it this is what it looks like and you can definitely not play around play around with it as much as I do and not get as much frizz and get some more curl definition but that's just how I like it and um, yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys like the results I'll see you guys in my next video bye